What's up? It's Fist bringing the news like I do. If you don't know, I'm going to tell you. So you're probably wondering, like, the United States has been having a lot of earthquakes, like Colorado, Washington, D.C., and you're probably wondering, like, you know, what's going on? So uh, I show you this United States diagram up here, and then I show you this other rough draft of something else, but I'm going to get to it real quick here. Um, as you know, the United States is like on a craton plate that hasn't moved in over 600 million years. And if you'll start to notice, like the weather is starting to change and everything is starting to, you know, there's starting to be activity in our country. Well, what is happening is, is we're start we're having a meteor or an asteroid or a comet. I think it's a comet, a comet that's been... Uh, gone for 10,000 years that is coming back into our orbit uh, into the it's coming really close to the earth like within 21 million miles it's it's basically closer than mercury and we are going to be in you know a somewhat some type I mean it's it's re really ridiculous to think that we wouldn't be in some type of danger but I want to explain to you some things here now you'll notice the little red line represents uh, comet Elenin, and what happens is when you have two masses coming into uh, the same space, the one with the most heaviest mass pulls the other one in. And this comet is going to be in and around uh, the planet Earth September first. I mean, it's just now getting you know within a week it's going to be here. And the most danger that you're going to see is right here, 926, where I show the dotted line when the comet is in between the Earth and the Sun. Now, everybody's saying, like NASA and everybody else is saying, oh, there's nothing going to happen or there's nothing that could happen. And you can see the arrow that's coming back where the Earth is in rotation and, and how the uh, comet will be in the trail of the comet as it passes out. Now, what they don't tell you is that uh, not only will it be in direct alignment with the sun, which you have two masses pulling on it in opposite directions, it could explode and the fragments can go anywhere. And if it continues on its path of inertia in, in our rotation, um, those rocks, those... Uh, you know, the explosion from that uh, comet could either... I mean, there's so many things that could happen. I mean, first of all, you know, when you have this type of mass pulling on your planet, then you'll start to wonder why that, you know, you have tectonic plates that haven't moved in 600 million years. They start to... Uh, you have earthquakes. is because you have gravitational poles pulling on each other's, um, you know, pulling on the core of the planet. And that's going to move the plates. You're going to have within, you see this brown fault line that runs like right through Colorado all the way to D.C. and up the, up the East Coast. And so when you have that type of uh, gravitational pull between the sun, the earth, and this comet that hasn't been back in 10,000 years, anything can happen. You know, I'm not trying to press the panic button here. What I'm saying is this, is that don't be naive to the whole situation. Do your own research check everything out yourself um i mean we will be in the highest danger when the comet is in between the sun and the earth it's going to look like there's two suns in the sky that's what you're going to see and um also you know we're going to be passing through the trail if the comet doesn't explode let's say it does it then you know that's it you know i mean it's going to shatter it's going to spray the earth and then if it but if it doesn't and it goes right through then we still have to pass through its magnetic field and then not only that we will be between the pole of the earth and the sun and the comet as it leaves our solar system so there's a lot of danger from here all the way to january 16th as it travels that red line all the way out so if you if you know do your own research you know craton plate um you know, I'm not giving you, I don't have all the facts here, but I'm at least making you aware of it. You know, look at Comet Elenin, 
look at it yourself be your own judge of it i'm just throwing out there this a warning seems like nobody's really paying attention to it but i'm letting you guys know that it exists out there anyway it's your boy fist bringing you news like i do until next time peace